Yeah, I know it's just got that quickly. <laughs> just a silly little moment occurring between us out of nothing. And it felt it felt really great to have, have, <laughs> have Jess responding to me <laughs> and thinking I was silly. So this is where we're going to have let's, let's a pretty get, classic get intensive interaction Please activity. Empty hands, Not so much play, more pure intensive interaction activity and hasn't just done this before. Absolutely anticipates the moment. <laughs> um, absolutely queued in straight away. Oh, what's, what's that? What was that? And I suggested, uh, oh, let's just, you know, so I'd, I'd seen you plenty with balls and balloons and things. I just wanted to see you empty handed with Jessica. Uh, but she <laughs> initiated with this anyway, and it looks like a fairly oh. standard object that you use during interactions, and away you go. <laughs> like I said, I want to I want to use this. I'm going to use it in training. I'm going to put it up on YouTube if that's okay. Uh, and it contains all the features of good intensive interaction practice, following the learner's lead, <laughs> tuning in responding to what the other person does frequently in fact props most often with imitation copying joining in also tuning in to know when to pause to know when to watch and wait to allow Jessica to restart <laughs> not doing too much enjoying it yourself and signaling that and that bit of technique as well, nice to see isn't it, positively flowing through the moments when Jess gets a bit excited, you don't make a big deal out of it, you just you just positively flow through and remodel if necessary. <laughs> There's running commentary in it as well with use of speech. Lovely sense of rhythm and tempo and time. Huge enjoyment between you, huge connection. Look at the extended face-to-face -face moments, and, and just somehow this switches her on and takes her up even more than the games in the park. She's just sort of completely communicatively tuned in to you and looking for signals and deliberately sending you signals. Yes. And yeah, th this looks to me like that classic situation where you're running a risk um, because at this level of arousal she can easily get over aroused and get a bit too excited and do something silly, like pull your hair, but she seems to really, really switch on at this level of arousal. She's, she's, really, she's really operating well here. And perhaps she knows to take a little time out. Perhaps, perhaps she realises she's going to take herself down. Just a little bit. 